Hi, this is Sunil Manji, Senior Principal Solution Architect at Elastic. I'll be doing a quick demonstration on how to integrate Elasticsearch with Azure AI Studio. Now, why do you need that? Well, let's take a look at, um, for example, a question. What are the current barrel rates from Hobbs Practitioner to Mount Bellevue for propane? And if you've seen my previous demonstrations, uh, I pulled data from a website, a bunch of uh, tariff information and PDF documents, and we're able to ask that same question and receive a correct response. Now, again, that's my custom application for RAD. Here, uh, ChatGPT or GPT-4, excuse me, says, nope, can't answer that question. I don't know, I don't have the context. But we do have the data in Elasticsearch. So here, really quickly and easily, we can add Elasticsearch. Click on Add Data Source and Elasticsearch. Now, uh, here you simply put in your Elasticsearch endpoint and your API key, verify the connection, and if it turns green, uh, then you say, what which index do you want to integrate? And make sure to select Custom Field Mappings. You'll see that next page. I'm not populating these because I don't want to share my Elasticsearch endpoints with the world. So once you click on the next button, uh, it will say what type of search. At the moment, only keyword search is available. And next, it will ask for uh, the field mappings. So what do you want to do uh, a keyword search upon? We're going to do content. Uh, what is the content? And in my field, in my index, where we want to do keyword search upon is content. File name, this is not required, but I actually do have a file name um, in my mapping. So it's called file, I should have called it file mapping. There is a title and a URL. The reason why URL is cool is because if, you're, if we're able to answer the question and there's a URL field in your document, um, GPT-4 may say, hey, I've answered the question and here's the URL to the document itself. And now we'll click next. Actually, the next screen uh, shows what, is the, what are all the inputs. It's just a quick review. I'm not going to show that because again, it, it shows my um, my endpoints, which I don't want to publish to the world. So we're going to go ahead and finish. So now that it's integrated, let's ask the question again. Same question. What are the current barrel rates from Hobbs Practitioner to Mount Bellevue for propane? Let's see here again. It was very easy to integrate Elasticsearch with Azure AI Studio, and the expectation is it's going to provide an answer. And it says, hey, I did. And if you've seen my previous demonstrations, it answers it just like that, $249.53 per barrel. And there's actually a reference. And you can actually see uh, the cool part. Because it has a URL as a field, It'll actually pull up the document, and in fact, it's it's in here um, uh, where the actual answer. Again, so quickly, what we were able to do, we proved out that without RAG, asking domain-specific questions doesn't work too well. Uh, but with the ease of integration with Azure AI Studio, with Elasticsearch, all you do is point it to an index and ask your um, Azure AI Studio questions about your data sets, and there you go. Pretty darn simple. Hope you enjoyed the short video. Thank you.